Hey guys, it's Pearl Studios HD. I'm making a quick tutorial on how to replace the lens in a PS3. This is the fat model, the 80 and 60 gig model. So what you'll need to do is you need to buy a lens for this model. And once you have your PS3 open, you remove the power cable for the disk drive and you remove the ZIF for the disk drive on the other side. And you have three screws in the front, two screws in the back on the bottom side. And once you have them removed, you should be able to slide the cover off like that. And at this point, you want to remove the sticker on the left side of the drive and also stick something behind this cable and remove it from the main board of the drive. There's two screws in the front and there's one screw in the back and there's also two screws in the middle on e either side. You want to remove the spindle and you also want to remove the cover. Once you're inside, you'll have uh, tension brackets on each side on on both sides of the uh, lens mechanism. You need to remove those, unscrew them, remove them. As you can see here, I only showed three, but there was four of them. And once you have that done, there's a zip be, um, before the lens, and what you need to do is remove that. And then you should be able to lift the lens out of there. Okay, and then you need to remove the, the I don't know what to call them, but they're bars that um, suspend the lens. And then you wanna take your new lens and put the new bars right back inside. Yo, turn it up. Make sure you set your lens down on something that's static resistant or what your lens came in. And then here we go, we're gonna put the, the bar back inside the new lens. This might not stay there perfectly, but once you have it inside the disk drive again, it will stay. And you're also going to want to remove the bracket right here that uh, connects to the worm in the disk drive and you're gonna to want to put that on your new lens. Once you have that removed, it should go exactly in the same place in the other lens. then you should be able to reverse engineer this and just put right back in, make sure uh, the ZIF connector is on the right side. And the, the lens has to be all the way near the, uh, the spindle motor uh, for it to fit back down in. And then you're going to want to reconnect your ZIF. And then you're gonna wanna screw back in all your tension brackets for the bars on the lens. And you're gonna to wanna to remember to put back in that cable you removed earlier from the main board that's super small. And you're gonna to wanna to install all your screws and you wanna put the cover back on. Make sure you put on the spindle cover like I showed here. And once you have that finished, you should have a finished console that works. Right here I'm doing a demonstration of Black Ops and it's working perfectly fine as you can see. So thanks for watching my tutorial and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.